I don't have time to play with my kids. My kids aren't important to me. What's up guys? Welcome to the video. EJ here with LTL Fitness. This video is going to be a little bit of a follow-up to an Instagram post I made. So whatever days this is uploaded or whatever day you're watching this in the future, um, maybe go back to our Instagram February 8th of 2017 and you'll see the post that I made. And it's a little bit about excuses and um, why they're not, why you should change your mindset about excuses. So in the post, I talked about how when you say things like, I don't have time for X, um, whether it be for some of it, some people they'll say, I don't have time to go to the gym. I don't have time to meal prep. I don't have time to, for me, it's reading. Um, I'm not perfect by any means, guys. Um, so for me, I, I really wanted to make reading a priority this year. And so far, I've done a poor job of that. And I'll use the excuse that I just don't have time. You know, we're starting this business. You know, we both have full-time jobs. Um, I have kids. And I'll just make all these excuses that I don't have time to do this. But basically, what I want you to do the next time you say, I don't have time to do whatever it is, try changing the verbiage and saying that that thing is not important enough for me to do right now. Or... I'm not going to make time for that because it's not important to me. And if the thing that you say that, if the X that you put in that equation really isn't important, then that's fine and you'll figure that out. But if you use that and it gets, you know, makes your stomach nod up a little bit, like if you say, I don't have time to play with my kids. My kids aren't important to me. My health isn't important to me. That'll really change the way you're looking at your time management and the way you're prioritizing things. And I think, you know, that's something that, you know, I have to do. And it's something we all have to do. It's basically is being self-aware. I've been listening to some audiobooks. One of the ones I'm listening to recently is called Average Skill Phenomenal Wheel. Um, it's by Eric Thomas. If you haven't heard of Eric Thomas, put him in the Google bar. He'll come up. He's a motivational speaker. Um, incredible story. Um, I was listening to his book. The first chapter, I believe, is called Self-Awareness. And it really talks about how... Um, it kind of goes back to the the responsibility or, or putting fault on things that you have to be self-accountable and self-aware that I'm struggling with this because of something I'm doing. I, I'm the reason this isn't working out. The reason... I don't get to read more is because I don't make it a priority. I don't sit aside 30 minutes every night before bed to say, I'm going to read. Instead, I'll scroll through Instagram or I'll scroll through Facebook. I'm not making it a priority and that's nobody's fault but my own. Um, same thing with people that say they don't have time to work out. You have an hour in your day to work out, period. I Listen, I don't want to hear it. I don't know who you are. I don't know what your life has got going on. Unless you're bedridden or, you know, maybe maybe there is somebody out there that doesn't have an hour. But almost all of us, if we really sit down and take a hard look at our time between the time we spend on social media, time we spend watching Netflix, you know, take an hour out of your sleep. I don't enjoy having to get up at 3.30 every morning. That's not optimal for me. It's not something that I, I look forward to all the time. I mean, it's not, if I had my way, if, I, if it was EJ's world, if, if everything that happened in my daily life was, was my call, trust me, getting up at 3.30 in the morning would not be part of that routine. But because of the responsibilities that I have in life between my family, my job, this business, um, you know, wanting to interact with you guys, like, you know, I talk about scrolling through Instagram, like, that's important to me because you guys are on Instagram. Like, if you're on this YouTube channel watching this right now, you probably follow us on Instagram. If you don't, go check us out, learning to live underscore fitness. We're very interactive on there, um, post 
at least daily. I try to I try to keep the story updated every day, of course. Um, but I enjoy interacting with you guys on that platform. So that is something that's important to me that I want to make time for. But I do sometimes go overboard and waste a little time on there where I'm not, you know, I'm not interacting. I'm just scrolling or I'm just, you know, taking some personal time on it that I could be being more productive, whether it be in the business, whether it be reading, whether it be um, spending family time. Like there's better things I could be doing sometimes with that time. And I think we all, if we break it down and get serious about something and say, take a hard look at our schedule, we can find an hour to do, you know, those kind of things. All right, guys, that's going to wrap up this video. I could, I could go on and on and on. It's really just, this, this subject fires me up, but I really would love to hear you guys, uh, comments below what you guys think, uh, I challenge you guys. What, what have you been making excuses for that you're going to change and you're going to start making time for and make a priority in your life? I'd love to hear it down below. Remember guys, um, ltlapparel.com we appreciate all the support links to all our social media are going to be down here in the description uh guys we cannot thank you enough for watching this video make sure you give it a thumbs up it really helps the videos hit the subscribe button if you want more videos like this and remember guys never quit